Hello. How are you today? It's I'm back again, but I'm doing something different. I uh, I'm going to do a let's see here. I'd like to put that on there. Oh yeah, a little cutesy uh, thing. Yeah, perfect. Love it. It's my introductory. And there's a little cat in a box. Oh, isn't that adorable? Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint. Here is your paint container. You're going to put your paints in here. And I usually use acrylic paint. Okay. Different colors. Um, and smaller brushes. There you go. Smaller brushes. And also a paper towel to... Uh, get the water and to change the colors, you're gonna dab that into the water and then rinse the water off on the paper towel. Okay, let's get started. Now I do have some pictures of what it's like when I when we're finished. Okay, so it's right here. It's very see-through. Um, I've painted on the back, okay? And you have to let this dry uh, probably about an hour. And um, when you want to eat off it, you can put another plate on top as well. You can put this on top. Or you can put it underneath, underneath the plate, a clear plate. Okay, I have another one for you. This is another one. This is great for the, sum, for the summer. <laughs> for whatever, you can do whatever you'd like to paint. It's very shiny. So I painted on the back. Okay. And I just want to show you one more thing with this. Okay, I'm just going to move this here. Okay. It's actually quite amazing when you put something dark behind it. There you go. Can you see that? See how it, how it stands out? It's actually, and it's very shiny. You can eat off the front of the plate. Okay. So let's get started figure out so anyway so I'm going to put my paint what I need in here so I'm going to need yellow and green so I'm going to start with the yellow first oops sorry ah yellow here we go sorry <laughs> Judy calls okay so I'm putting the yellow the yellow and there's my paint I, I've used lots of paint lots of different paint you can also use the paint that you can uh, paint on glassware or even Chinette as well. So I'm going to use the small thin paintbrush, okay? And uh, so I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to, oops. So I'm going to dab on the back here. Here, I'll show you here. There we go. We're going to make some dabbing. Little dabs here. Actually, the smaller plates are easier to work with. They're less intimidating. Anything that has glass and it's see-through, you can paint on the back of it, let it dry. I wouldn't recommend putting it in the dishwasher. For the glassware, you can put it in the oven and bake it at 350 degrees for two hours, two to three hours, and that will make it hard. Or you can let it uh, uh, just naturally dry. And um, 24 days is usually the best amount so that you can let it um, uh, harden to the glassware so you don't, it won't rub off. But if you rub it with the back of your, with your fingernail, it will come off. Okay, so. I'll put this behind it so you see what it looks like. Can you see that? There you go. Okay, now we're going to try another color. Usually I let it dry, but I think it should be okay. So I'm going to try another color here. And I just put this color here. It is uh, acrylic pine green. Okay, there you go. And I usually shake them up too. So I'm going to put this, okay, in my container here, right here. So I'm going to put that there. Alrighty, so I'm going to snap the thing. 
and we still have this is what we're doing right here okay so i'm going to dab some more green so i'm dabbing more green on here okay dabbing more green there we go now that you can see what i'm doing okay always whatever you see first closest to you you're going to paint first because you can always paint over the back of it once it dries and you don't want to smudge the colors together either so we're just going to do this this is just like a little i guess uh hmm. there we go looks like a dandelion the dandelions don't have green in it Anyway, this and just keep them spaced apart too. You don't want to have them too close together. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. See, there you go. Oh, you want the, the white behind it. Okay, there we go. So this is what it, it's looking like. Okay, you can add leaves to the side or whatever you'd like. So I'm going to use my paper towel to rinse the green off. Don't use too many brushes, then it gets too confusing. Use a, a thin one and then a medium size. Medium size. There go. There's the thin, there's the medium size. And then a larger one for doing, you know, the uh, leaves. Okay. So put that back. Okay, so we're going to do maybe even another color. I like this color the best. It's a lilac. Oh, I'm going to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay. Alrighty, so. I usually don't put too much paint in there. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, there's my paint amount, okay? These are great to have. You can get them at Michael's or any of the craft stores or even the dollar store, okay? So I've cleaned out the brush. Uh, I'm going to now dab purple around the edge. Okay. There we go. Just adds a little bit of color. You can wash your plates or your plastic off with um, uh, alcohol-based containers or cleaners. There, how about that? Uh, it's getting there. It's sort of getting there. A little puffy. So we're going to add some more puffies to it. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. So puffies. We're going to add some more puffies to the flower. There it goes. Just a little bit of puffies. Just to make it stand out. Okay. There we go. Around we go. This is also very relaxing. Very interesting. As long as we don't blend the colors together too much. But you could even put this plate over another plate. Uh, and you don't have to eat on top. Well, you can eat on top of it because it's plastic. But you can put it on a nice clear plate or a nice white plate, and it'll bring out the colors as well. Or even a black plate. It'll bring out these colors. So, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> Okay, rub away, rub away on the mat. Okay, so it's, it is color. It is ending up. So let's see. Okay, let's try some more yellow. Yellow is very pretty. I love the yellow. There we go. We're just adding a bit of yellow here. Okay. I'll just get this. Yeah. And always change your water so that if it when it gets dirty, just change it so you don't get all that dirty colorness in the, um, you know, 
There we go. Great. Ah, some more yellow around the edge. This just brings it out. And uh, we can add some leaves to it afterwards. So can you see that? There you go. Adding some yellow. I'm trying not to get it into the purple. Is it not dry yet? Okay, here we go. All righties. All right. Get some more yellow. All righties. It looks very pretty. So if you have a black plate underneath this, it'll really bring out the colors. It's already starting to come out already. We can do um, some green. We'll do some green leaves. Okay. But I, I think I have to have it face down so I can draw them. Okay. Here comes the green. So I'm going to dump my green in there. So there's my green. All right. And, uh, no, I better show you this. Okay. So just do a little bit of a thing like this. There you go. You kind of join them together. A little bit of green. Some people, they actually just go like this. And they just push down on the on the little leaves there. Okay, can you see that? There we go. There's some leaves there. Okay. We'll just have to let this. There we go. There we go. More, more green. This is great even for the kids to do because um, they like to paint. It's very relaxing for them. There we go. Actually looks like a sun a sunflower. Oh, that's better. It's sort of like you're doing one way, one way. There you go. And there you go in the middle. One, two, three. Kind of let your imagination go wild here. Okay, there you go. And, there, and I try not, I try to keep this clean, like for an edge, like a frame. There you go. We're doing some more. And I don't think this is going to drip. It's very thick. Okay, it should go to a point there. Okay, almost there. There you go. And one more. It's sort of like a pear. That's the design you're drawing. And you can go over that too. If it's a little, needs color. Okay, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put even a black plate. Oops. So I'm going to clean the green off the, the uh, thing. So here's my water. There you go. It's very dirty. But it gets rid of all the, the stuff. So here we go. That's it there. So it gives you an idea what it looks like. I'm going to turn it over. And this is the backing will be painted. Okay. But you can eat off this plate. Because you painted on the backs. But you can just see your beautiful design on the front. And I would let that dry for an hour to two hours. And if it's glass, you can bake it and put it in the oven for two hours at 350. And then you can um, eat off of it as well. But I would just wash it, hand wash it, uh, because in the dishwasher it might come off, even with the glass. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Okay, great. So uh, we have two now. They're very similar. There. Okay, great, perfect. Now I'll just let that dry. And I'm going to do a larger, a larger plate. I'm going to do like this size. It's very pretty too. But this is dried. And uh, I can eat off the front of it. Great for desserts, um, sandwiches, 
whatever, especially in the summertime, but we're past the summer. But um, I'll just, there's a lot of colors together. So anyway, I'm just going to put this aside here. I like using the colors. Uh, okay, I'll just put it here. I'll put it right underneath. There you go. So um, I'm going to use this as a reference too. Alrighty, so I'll just put this here. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to use a black. Oh, purple. Purple is great. I love this color, dark purple. Okay, so I'm going to put the purple. Okay, so there is your purple right at the bottom. Okay, and probably we have yellow. Okay, so we have yellow. We need green. We have green. We have yellow. Purple, green, I like my lilac, and maybe even a light, a, a brown. I think we need a brown. Yeah, I think we need a brown. Okay, hold on here. Ah, there we go. So there you go. A brown, a brown. So we put that in too. It's very easy. And there's also lots of videos out as well. Whoops. But these, these uh, paints, any kind of acrylic paints or the paints you, that you paint on China, they're very inexpensive. So it's a great hobby. So I'm looking for my plate now. <laughs> okay. A plastic plate. And we're going to paint on the back. That's, that's the goal there. And we start right at the center. So if we can remember that, that'd be great. Okay. So we're going to start right this instant. So I'm going to look at that and see this is in the beginning in the front. So this is what I'm going to paint first, right in here. Yes. And then I can always paint over it. So that's what we're going to paint in the front, but on the back. Okay. All right. So here we go. So I'll start with the yellow. Starting with the yellow. And I'm going to just... Oh, all oh right. Forgot. Okay, so we're starting with yellow right here. All righties. Oh, it looks so pretty. So you're going to have to put enough on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the green. I'm going to wash my brush. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to get the green. Oops, a bit too much green. Okay, here we go. Here's the green. Ah, this is the middle. Okay, that was easy. And there you are. See? Okay, so we're painting on the back. Now we want to use let's see here. A brown. We're using a brown? No, purple, purple, purple. We're going to make lashes. Okay, lashes. Lashes. Okay. Right on. There we go. We're making lashes. Okay. So we just have to let that dry for a little bit. Here's the front. Ooh, looks like a sunflower. And I like the different colors too. I really like them. They're, they're kind of blending together. There's two in one. It looks like a little sunflower. Okay. So we're just going to let that dry for a bit. I'll take some of the purple off. Always rinse your brush. Some people, some paints, you don't need to rinse it. You just rub it off. But it's always good to, to dry your brush with a paper towel. Okay. So we're going to need some more colors. But we're just going to let that dry a bit. Um, let me see here. Uh, okay, here, this is good. Ooh, lots of green on that one. Okay. This okay. In the meantime, 
I'm going to show you how to make one of these little flying um, butterflies. They're really cool. Easy, easy. It's just a squiggly line, the head, and a wing. Four wings. Butterflies have four wings. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just going to draw one of those in. Okay. Okay, so I'll start with the brown. Start with the brown. So I'll do it like a, like a C. One. And I'll do the head. Do the head. Can you see that? Here we go. Do the head. And I'll do that and that. So I've got this. And we're going to do the, the wings. Okay, we're going to do some wings. Okay, look at this. Can you see the wings now? Uh oh, oh hold on. Ah, okay, there it goes. So, one, two, three, four. Did you see that? There's the butterfly, a little butterfly. Cool. We can do another butterfly if you want. Okay, always rinse your brush out. Okay. There we go. Another butterfly up here. So we do like an apostrophe. Apostrophe, the head, there and there, and the little doodads, a little, little round thing. Okay, now you're going to get some. Here we go. I want to show that to you. Uh, I want to get some wings. I like the purple wings. So one, two, three, four. There you go. Another butterfly. It's very pretty. I can even do them higher if you wanted. Oops, just kind of make them bigger. There you go. There you go. Okay. I think you can see them. Yep, you can see them. Perfect. Now this, the one in the middle, should be finished. Should be dry. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Ah, we're going to do some squiggling. I like the green. I like to use colors, or I can even use the pink. You going to use the pink. Pink. Oh, yes. If you're going to blend, if you're going to blend, here, oops, here we go. If you're going to blend, just uh, blend the colors together. There you go. One, two. And there they are. The colors are blended. And you can just blend them in here if you want to. Okay, there. Oh, makes a different color. Yellow and this makes a different color. Okay. Now we're just going to do some squiggles outside like this. Might have to use another paintbrush because this is very thin. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just try it here. Okay, watching. There we go. There we go. So we're just going here. When this dries here, you can just paint right over top and you'll still be able to see it. There it goes. Oh, I might need a, a larger. Here we go. There we go. Just, oh, I can do it like this. You can see it. Maybe not. I'll go like this. Okay. There we go. Swiggle. Now well, this is very pretty. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and uh, can do we can do bumblebees? Yeah, we can do bumblebees. That's true. We can do bumblebees. Okay. With the yellow. Ah, uh, yellow, yellow. Yeah. There we go. We now have some yellow. We're going to do some bumblebees. And sometimes people can do like the, oh, the swallowtail. 
All righty, so here we go. Bumblebees. We can use the bumblebee. We can use the purple. Okay, so we're going to do the head. I'm going to do the head. I'm going to do the head right now. The head, the middle, and the bottom. Okay, and then we'll just put some black in between or some purple. I love purple. Okay, oops. Okay, we're going to do some purple. There we go. There we go. And the tail. Woo! And don't forget, he has these little, little things on his head. I'll put on a face. There we go. Do, do, do. He has a face. Where's your bumblebee? There it is. There's the bumblebee. That's cool. You can use, you can put those on glasses too. And I'm going to show you what it's like to put them on glasses. I'll be right back. Five minute break. So this are bumblebees that's on a Sunday dish. There you go. And then you just paint them like this. Okay, I don't know what happened here. I got died. Looks like a spider. There you go. There's your there's your bumblebee. Alrighties. What else do I have here today? Uh yeah. Here we go. This is a really nice plate too. There you go. And I've just painted on the back. So you can't see the design in the front, but you can eat off the front of it. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you that. And this is another one that you can eat off the front. A lot of people use these as wedding gifts as well. You can do that on a platter and uh, it looks really, really, really nice. There you go. Okay. And I have one more to show you. And at, oh, a hummingbird. This is it, a hummingbird. Can you see the hummingbird there? This is really nice. It's it's good on a on a casserole. And I bake with this all the time and the design stays on there. And this is what it looks like from behind. Okay. And you can just wash it by hand. It's great. Okay. There. So um my next video I'll show you how to draw or paint the hummingbird. It's very pretty with the wings. Okay. Well, these are this is another design, and I've also put like a podging over it, which is a matte, it's a glossy finish. Okay, another video. Okay, so you can always put potpourri in here or flowers or whatever, okay? And I have potpourri in this one. There you go. And this is another one that I've blended the colors with. Okay, great. So we'll do that. And we do, and I just glue gunned. I just put glue around the top lid to make it a little bit more festive for Lacey, for the Lacey. And then, mm, it smells great. It smells great. You should get some of this potpourri and put it in there. You can design any kind of jars with just glass work. It's perfect. And it's very, 
comforting and not too too bad. So anyway, here goes our little our little bumblebee. There we go. And I'll just put it in the front. So you can add whatever you want. I always find less is more. And you can also put like sayings like good morning, good morning, stuff like that. Uh, you know, but these plastic plates are great to train on, practice on. And then you can put them, you can use the nice glassware, which is excellent. I love the glassware. And then you can just paint in the back as well. Okay, so I, I hope you like learning about the stained glass and you just paint it from behind. So we can do painting some more if you'd like. Okay, let me just see here. I have this feeling that you don't want to go as yet. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay, paper towel, paper towel. Whoa, paper towel, here we go. Paper towel. Ah, now what color should we use? A nice color. How about green for leaves? Perfect. We're going to do some leaves here. More leaves. Okay. You see the leaves? Oh, there it is. I got it. I'll just put like this. Okay. Sort of like I'm doing two commas. I need some more green paint. One, two. Very easy to do this. One, two. And I'll go around my little butterfly. I might need a little bit more paint here. There we go. One, two. And that just makes it nice and pointy. One, two. Okay. One, two. I'm going to get a little bit more paint. Green, 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 acrylic green. You can get this at the dollar store. There you go. It doesn't cost that much. It costs a dollar. <laughs> dollar, dollar fifty. There you go. And if you make a mistake, you can always get your pot, your uh, paper towel, and rub over it, and it will be fine. Not to worry. I'm just doing these over here. Alrighties. But I always believe less is more. Less paint makes it look beautiful. But people like to use to fill up the hole. Sometimes they want to put a plaid, a pattern down the side too. But there you go. Oh, good. There. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. And you can even fill it in wherever. But, um, yeah, and then it'll take, this will probably take about a half an hour to an hour to dry. dry. And um, you can put it on another plate. I don't know about cutting with the knife and fork on here, but you could. But um, it just dresses up the kitchen. And you can also make, a, like, four patterns of this. You make four plates with this pattern, and it will it will look really nice together, too. Or you can have five plates with this pattern. So you just, just have to experiment and uh, have fun with it and with your paints. And just let it dry face down so that, uh, but you don't want to put the plastic in the oven. Okay, only with the glassware you can put that. And you can put all the glassware in at once. Bake them on 350 for about two hours. And the paint will... Um, absorb into the glassware and you'll be able to wash it with hand in the dishwasher but i would wash it by hand first just to see how it how it goes okay so i hope you like this video uh leave any comments if you have and uh, this is very pretty so you can make a whole set of these okay and they're good as wedding gifts uh baby shower gifts whatever kind of gifts so uh, homecoming retirement whatever kind of gifts you like. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care. Uh, peace out. Okay, take care. Bye. Have a good day.